Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Yeah, welcome to another video. I uh, hope you guys are having a good day. Um, I'm obviously making a video. Uh, this is like the second, I think this is episode two of of uh, loadout review. That today we're doing uh, something called the underdog. Um, it it's one of the most it's most mo one of the most recent loader design or one of the recent loader designs that Healer Stratus has made. So all credit goes to him. Um, yeah. So yeah. Th this this for me to give you my review of this entire loadout for me it was. It was weird for me, man, because using this type of loadout, it's like, um, is it, I'm I'm a very uh, go in the front line type of player when it comes down to this game, you know. And uh, when you know someone like with this type of weapon, with this type of with this type of loadout, and this type of weapons and perks, you know, it's it's it's, it's extraordinary. It's it's extraordinarily hard to play this game when it's like that because the game is so straightforward and you you know it's really it's all about how your teammates are gonna go and you can see right there two of my teammates get just got dropped right there and you know it's it's definitely not easy you know um if I if we ever play together or if I, I play games and I and this happens when I shoot somebody it's not so I can steal your kill. That's not my intention. My intention is just to get him dead. But uh, yeah, the underdog for me is it's a really good. It's a really good. You know, I get a few kills. It's like we we do. I do two matches. Um, yeah, I do two matches. Uh, you know, I do that. I do that now with the loadout reviews. Um, you know, basically, I just have people on this game. Um, I'm, not, I'm sorry. I, I'm really having a hard time speaking today. But this, it, when I do these loadout reviews, they're mainly based on how I see them. You know, and some of these I hadn't even tried yet. Like I've not, I've, I've never, I never tried the underdog. I never tried it. Um, I know I. What was that? What was the last one that I did? The scavenger. Yeah, I didn't do the scavenger either. Um, I'm trying to do ones that are just I have not done yet. But anyways, it's just, it's really good. I mean, there are certain perks on there that are really good, like Bomb Expert 2, uh, Explosion Expert 2, I think, uh, yeah, Explosion Expert 2, I think it's either that or one. Um, they have some, it, there's some good perks. I mean, Damage Marker 2, it, it, it's really, it's really, it's really good. To me, for me, it's really, really good. But like I said, you'll see that I'm, I'm having a hard time with it. Like, I'll just probably, um, yeah, I don't know how that didn't hit him. But you, you'll see me that I'm just like swat, like really sliding my, you know, when I shoot, I'm sliding it. Because I'm not really good at, you know, doing that. So, yeah, I mean, like, I'm not doing terrible, you know. Like, I'm doing actually pretty good, considering I haven't really been playing the game that much. I've been really just chilling out of my house, watching some TV, and, you know, exploring my face a little bit and stuff. So I haven't really been able to play this game. But I've also been playing, um... Red Dead Redemption 2, and they're getting they have a, they have a online now. The uh, if you had the Ultimate Edition yesterday, you you would have played it yesterday. Uh, but uh, today I'm gonna be get to play it after I'm done making the video, and get everything set up. I will, you know, I'm gonna right to I'll go right for it. <laughs> I'm gonna be going right for that uh, Red Dead Online. So, anyways, um, anyways, guys, I yeah, for, for like I said, this in my opinion, if I was gonna give it a rating, it would. It was. It would have to be. Um, it would have probably had to be like an eight out of ten. That that would be my. Uh, out of like ten out of like, that'd be my like my. Okay. Five star kind of thing. I think it would be like four and a half maybe. It isn't the best. I mean, this is also a personal opinion. Like I, it's you can be good with this weapon. You could. With this loadout. It's. It's a good loadout, really. I know I've gotten good kills with it, but I really just the one thing that I really said about myself when I was playing the game. Is that I really, man? I just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm sitting here. I'm like, man, I can't. If you can't craft any weapons, or not, not any weapons, but if you can't craft any bombs or any smoke bombs, it's gonna be really, really difficult for you to, you know, play the game uh, because uh, it's what they have. They have they. This loadout has perks that are there 
for explosives, you know, for um, throwables, you know, like explosion expert. And that explosion expert, I forgot what it was called. Uh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. I can't remember. It's like one of the. It's like it's, it has explosion. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. I can't remember. Um. But yeah, it's. The explosion perk that I'm talking about, it just it, it just basically increases the radius of when you throw a bomb, or you know, it, it increases the damage or the radius for it. I'm not mean damage, but the radius of it. Or how like when by by radius, I mean like uh, how far it can hurt you. Um, you know, so does bomb expert. Yeah, so um. Yeah, but the what this this uh, loadout is really good for people who uh, are good with throwables, but also that are good at because it's a really laid back type of loadout. It's not for those those close and personal type of situations where you get face to face with the enemy and uh, you basically you know just fight everyone them off. It's kind of like a mid and long range type of loadout. It's not meant for you know being up close because I just you know, right here I got to edit. Yeah, basically. And I get really gunned down right here. Like, I got flanked right here. But anyways, I, I, I don't know. It's this game, man. It's it's really difficult. Sometimes you just lose, man. Like, this game is... The game is crafted in a way that you can only... That you can only... That you can really only win with your teammates. You gotta have good teammates. You gotta have really good people on your back on your on your on your team because if you don't it's gonna be really hard for you to go up here the only other re the only other possible reason you can win a anyway is if you if you just have this god-given talent for the game that's the only different you know it's you got you just got to be good at the game I and mean, you really gotta like your 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 head shots will be on point your shots have to be on point it has to be hitting the target You know, it's just you know it, it, it's really hard to be good at this game because there's people that there there are also people that are all because I because for me people are people are better than me at this game. You know, I just play this game for fun. So I'm a kind of a person that has an off and on type of when to session on this game. You know. Yeah, it's like I win some rounds. Some rounds I destroy everybody. Other rounds I just get I get destroyed. You know, it's it's an off and on type of thing. Anyways, I uh, also that's just, like I said. I, when I was when I went through that window, I should have been went back in there because then I could have gone out of there. And it, it was just being stupid, just trying to figure out if I you know just trying to shoot someone and it didn't really matter in the end. This is the most common place people go to in the last when someone's the last man standing. They'll go to this one place in the locker room, and they'll just, you know, they'll put bombs everywhere. And then he hears someone go on this left side, and then he tries to shoot him, but he loses. That's right there. I think he ran out of, I think he uh, had a reload. But, you know. But anyways, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it, man. I hope you guys are enjoying the video right now. Um, yeah, hope you guys have been enjoying. It. Yeah, the 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 lobby, man. They were talking so much crap, man. Like I just, you, you know, you could not get a break from these guys because these guys are just talking all the time, you know. But uh, anyways, you know, if you guys if you guys are watching this, it's all cool. It's fine. Um, it's it's completely fine. It's just that uh, I do. I, I'm not I'm not as stressed out when I'm playing other people. Especially people that are serious into playing games. Like, if you're serious playing games, you probably do not want me on your team. Um, I'm a very person who likes to play the game, but not have stress and pressure. I can't stand that. Man, I mess up when I have pressure and stress on me. Because it will either go two ways. I either do really good, or I do really bad. I either am the best, or I'm the worst. You know, it's it's not... I'm not in the middle anywhere. I'm not, I'm not anywhere in the middle. And if I am, it's only like a... It happens like once in the next game. It's like terrible you know so that's like how I that's how games are like this is how the game is for me at least and for other and for like other games as well 
well, they, they keep on to the meaning of the um, the meaning of the title of this video. Um, the loadout is beautiful, um, but at the same time, it has its weak points to me. Um, like it doesn't. It, like I said, it's not good at close range, man. Like you really got to be good at this, man, to to be good up and good in close range with that weapon, man. Because first, when it, when I get up and close and personal, I have to have some sort of a shotgun. Uh, or a, either a shotgun or a fast weapon. If it's like one of these, um, like a semi-automatic, no, I can't do that. It, you know, it, it, you know, I, and I'm talking about stuff like, uh, for one example, would be with the enforcer. You know, if I can just, you know, just pop it off like one, two, three, four, it'd be easy. Same thing for the variable rifle. You know, there's other, you know, not all of them are made for close quarter combat. And some of them just met for medium and long range. Like it's just that's yeah, just how the weapons are in this game. Stay alert. Check. And if you were in the beginning of the video, you saw me turn my uh, controls back to L1 and R1. It's because my brother, you know, my brother was playing it a few days ago before I was, and he changes the controls because you know if you, when you first get the game, the controls aren't L1 and R1. It's L2 and R2. You know, so he just needed to play it as it was. So, and, and the hat and the mask, that was not me. I don't really wear masks and hats in this game. Um, I just I just put default. It just makes me, you know, I'm not. For some reason, putting on, for me, for me, putting on the customization, it does affect me playing games for some, affect me, it does affect my gameplay in here, man. It does. It's pretty weird for me, at least. One less to worry about. We were destroying them, I think. Yeah, I think we were destroying them, and they somehow won. But still, like, you know, I'm not here to analyze my faults in this game. I'm more like analyzing just, you know, just their loadout in general and how good it was. For me, you know, when we make these loadout reviews, I'm not focusing on my faults. I'm more focusing on how many kills I'm getting. Or how many, you know, just how many kills I'm getting, how many shots I'm getting in. Yeah, that was, yeah, I mean, that was a good flank right there, man. Really good flank. Yeah, this is where I was doing really good. But like I said, man, we, we kind of go downhill. You know, uh, for me, guys, um, I like the uphill battles where it's like close wins, like really intense, long, hard fights, like uphill battles, man. Really hard battles, really hard uh, matches, man. That's kind of like, you know, but I win. You know, those are my favorite types of matches. And when you get in them matches, man, it's it's awesome, man. It's just, and even what's even better for it is that they. Have you know when people go on the mic, they'll be respectful and they'll say that was a really good match, even when they lost. That that makes it even better, man. That makes it like a perfect match, for me. Uh, it makes me when it was a long hard fight and people were just respectful and have sportsmanship and all that stuff. You know, it's it's really cool to see that, and that's what makes for me. That's what makes a good match, a very perfect and amazing match. That's what it makes it to me. So. Also, I um, you guys, you guys really liked you. You guys liked my brother being up here. You guys really did. I really, I really find that awesome that you guys see that you guys, you know, something new's up here. And I think that's what happened. I think when you put something new on this channel, something as much as putting someone else up here, you know, it's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty fascinating. And I saw how it was going, and I was like, okay. It's like, okay, I guess people watch to do it some other time, you know. But, you know, my brother, he has to go to school and everything. He has to work. And he also plays games himself. So it's like, you know. And I'm busy most of the time, so. But, yeah, guys, this is a. Okay, Yeah, this is a good loadout, man. Uh, Tilo Strategist is, like, one of my favorite loadout designers. I can't believe I said that way. way. <laughs> you know. But he is. He's like one of my favorite level designers. Um, just because of how good he puts it together and how he has a literal reason for every perk and every weapon he puts on the loadout, I think that's awesome, man. Like, I'm not even kidding. That's like really cool that he can do that. You know, and, and they actually appear and they appear to be really good. They're like, you know, I've some of my favorite loadouts are from Tealer Strategist, but still, you know, he doesn't. He, and before um, Underdog. 
I think he did the last one he did was like months ago, man. It was like a long time ago. Take point. But um yeah, I'm always on the lookout for new loadouts. So if you guys want to put anything in the comments telling me about any loadouts like I should try, just give me, you know, just put them down there and I'll try it out. And um Like I said, guys, I I um I don't I don't do loadouts, you know, in a point where, like, oh, only if I do good, you know. That's not it. He throws a Molotov at us. I, I thought it was a, a smoke bomb, but I thought it was a smoke bomb, but it was really it was a Molotov. But anyways, yeah, I'm not going to play. I'm not going to grab. Let's say that you guys give me a loadout, one of yours, and I play it, and if it is no good, I don't post it. No. It's like, I don't do that. I'm going to play it, and I'm going to give you my full opinion on it and just how good it was. Um, of course, I won't be rude and crude and just say it was completely awful and terrible. No, I'm not going to put it like that. Never. Um, I would never be that rude and crude to someone who obviously put a lot of time into it. And if you can, while you post your loadout, also in the in the comment, um, if you can, um, put down the reason for the perks and the weapons. And that would just make it even more... Even more just more reason to maybe put up here because you just you have a reason behind it you know you have a you know and also tell me if you guys have actually used it and if, in your opinion how good is it you know um, I didn't see him right here so I can only do this but look at that guy he goes right here but I know there's someone in the other room as, as well which I didn't see there yeah he was in he was in the other room too Yeah, this it's a it's a good loadout, man. Like props to to the strategist for releasing this type of stuff. You know, it's it's really cool to play these types of uh, these types of videos. You know, just do these types of videos because it's something new for me and it's very engaging for me. So I got more coming up for you guys. I just you know I'm gonna be going all throughout the entire uh, to the community and just finding new loadouts and everything. Um, hopefully, I can you know. But anyways, you know. But I also hope you guys are having a good day, man. I've been having a phenomenal week, too. Um, uh, it's been, you know, it's been, it's, I wouldn't say it was not, it's not like been exciting, but it's just been, you know, it's been boring, but at the same time, it's been really fulfilling, too, at the same time. Um, like I said, I don't really focus much on video games that much anymore. Um, you know, if I do play games, it's either I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2, or I'm playing this game for the channel. But I, I, like I said, I rarely play games that much anymore. Um, it's just not in me really much. I mean, you know, Last of Us Part Two comes out. I'm definitely playing that game. I'm definitely playing Last of Us Part Two when it comes out. And when it comes out, I will be posting a lot about it. Um, well, first, well, first we'll do a live stream of it. You know, we'll first do a live stream of the Last of Us Part Two, and then after we've done the story, we'll go into the multiplayer. And if there's a survival, we'll put it up there too. Yeah, but that's how it's going to go. You know, where I'm definitely... When Last of Us Part 2 is starting to get revealed, that's when I'll start doing the videos again that much as I'm doing. Obviously, the last video I posted was like six days ago. You know, just you know, just focusing on my my uh, my faith still, you know. Because uh, anyone that doesn't watch this, I'm a Christian, so... If, you, if I ever say that, just know that I'm talking about because I'm a Christian. But anyways, it's... Uh, I hope you guys and you know you enjoy these types of videos because I put, I do put a lot of stuff in these videos, man. Like you know, I'm, I'm glad that one of my uh, my subscribers he uh, he told me about this. You can um he told me about this is that that you can do a full screen and record on on uh, Share Factory. I was like, there was no way. I've tried it, and he says, no, you gotta go to Track Two. I'm like, why Why isn't it just, you know, I didn't tell him this, but I told him, I was thinking in my head, like, why don't they just put that there when you have the option, you know, it, it just, you know, you know, he had to be a little bit more specific with me, because <laughs> I didn't really just, I, I looked at it, and I didn't see, like, record audio or anything like that, I just heard, you know, I just saw, I didn't see anything, it just was like tracks, track one, track two, and if you guys don't know, I picked track two for our, you know, recording audio, and, um, Anyways. Someone get over and help me. Hold on, I'll 
got you. Lucky you got my back. One down. Nice. That was really good. Yeah, I was really upset about that. I was like, man, what? Then he got him down, but I, I don't think he... Oh, yeah, he did kill him. He did. He did kill him. But anyways, guys. Um, the video is about to end here. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you like it, you know, subscribe and see me and more of these types of videos. And uh, if you have anything to say in the comments, I'll, you know... Put them in the comments below, and I'll do the best I can to uh, answer them okay, and reply. And so, yeah, with that guys being said, you guys, uh, you guys take it easy. I'm down. Hold on. I can patch you up. Lucky you got my back.